Hey, what's going on you guys? Ramni here. Before we start the tutorial for Venom, I just want to show you the process on how I came up with the pose for Venom himself. So take a look. One of the reasons I started collecting action figures in the first place is because I wanted to pose them in different ways. So does this look familiar? You guys, this is the pose that I used for Venom, but instead of using this Mac Gargan costume right here, um, I used the Eddie Brock costume, which is this one. I much prefer this costume over this one just because I grew up with this one. So this is the Venom pose. So I moved it around to get the angle that I want, took a picture of it, and then from that, it became this. So that is one of the ways that I use my action figures to help me draw. Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome to Draw2. My name is Ramney and this is another episode of How to Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, comics, books, and video games. If this is your first time here and you want to see more tutorial videos like this one, be sure to press that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon to get notified anytime that I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need for this tutorial. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens with different size nibs for inking. As you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. If you still find that this video is going way too fast, you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right to slow it down. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick to it. Also, if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely fine as well. Having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Hey you guys, for this Venom tutorial, I've got my paper in portrait mode. We're going to do his full body and uh, we're going to start off by drawing the head at the top left. And by doing, by starting, we're gonna start off with a circle about this big and it's not very big at all, you guys. So that's where it's gonna be. And what we're going to do is we're going to divide this circle in half. And I'm gonna draw a line just going straight down this way. I want Venom to sort of be in a tilted angle so that's what that is going to look like. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this now. And we're gonna work our way at this angle uh, from, from this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide that circle so that I just have the top half like this. And then what we need to do is, this is going to be a line for the teeth. So I'm gonna have the teeth kind of just going up and down like this right here. And you can make those teeth as gory and as crazy as you want. But for now, I'm just going to draw it like that. And then, of course, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the jaw, which is what's very distinct about Venom. And I want the jaw to be about this far down. So I draw two lines, kind of just like the little jaw lines right there, jaw points. The jaw, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Uh, the joint itself, that's it. And then I'm going to bring it down to about here Okay, I want that line going straight down the center of that. So I kind of want this to be symmetrical. I want this side to be mirror imaged with the other side. So there you go. Let's zoom in on the face and let's just add kind of the, the mouth. So it goes, runs along the side here like this. And then see here it's thinner than it is here. This is like a thicker part right here at this point. Okay, and then of course the teeth are I mean, there's really no method to the teeth. You can draw it like upside down teardrop shapes. And I start down at the front and sort of work my way up like this. And a lot of people, depending on the artist, you have the teeth go crazy forwards, sideways. Some teeth go out sideways like that. So if that's your preference, you can do that. But just make those spikes go all the way up to the top like that. Okay. Now let me zoom back out. And I'm gonna draw kind of just the necklines right there. So here's the head. I'm going to reshape it slightly. I don't want it to be a complete circle, right? There you go. So here's the neck. What we're going to do is we're going to start shaping Eddie Brock's body. And we're gonna draw him pretty muscular because he is a fairly muscular guy. He's, he's like a huge bodybuilder. If you compare that to Spider-Man's lanky, lankiness. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a circle. And I want that circle to sort of go down to about this far below. 
the jaw. So just start shaping that circle just like this and try to get that symmetry going. Okay, and then right here we're going to draw two lines. That's going to be the collarbone. And about this far down is going to be his chest. So two lines going across like this and actually starts going up as you go to the sides of the circle. Okay, so we've still got that circle going. Uh, from here, I'm gonna draw a line going down to about here, just outside the circle there. And then I'm gonna erase this part because we don't need that anymore. We'll keep this, but right here we're going to add kind of like the torso area. This is going to be covered, uh, this won't. Okay, so we've got a pretty good idea of how this is gonna go. There you go. From this point, I'm going to draw the shoulder. So where the chest kind of meets the outside uh, or meets the, the side of the circle here, I'm going to start there and I'm going to create this half a circle kind of shape, just like that. And then over here, from this point, same point, half a circle like this, and then just bring it in like that. So you've got these two shapes right here. Let's go on this side. I want kind of just a, a big, big biceps for venom. So it's just going to be a circle like this. And I'm going to draw a line going down from here as well. So here's that curve and then a curve this way. So it separates the bicep. And then over here, it goes this way and then across like that. Now you guys notice I still have my, uh, my paper tilted. So this goes this way, and I kind of want to make this shape right here, and then another line going across and rounds off. So what, what happens is you see the bicep kind of goes this way, and then you've got this rounded shape like that. And that's just kind of emphasizing how big and muscular uh, Venom is. And I'll go back over here, actually, let me add the same thing. So you can see the bicep is kind of behind like these huge triceps. So. That's what makes him look like a bodybuilder. And give me a second here while I fix the reference photo that I'm using. Okay, so now over here, another circle kind of similar in size to this right here, slightly smaller though, goes like that. And then a line, kind of just a line going through like this so it looks like a forearm. Okay, and then over here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw, draw the hand. It goes like this. So it goes across. Here it curves, that's kind of the, the thumb. Here's the forearm, here's the middle finger, just slowly, um, just creating the shapes for them. Here's the ring finger and here is the pinky finger. So you guys notice that I created these kind of steps that go like that. And try to take a look, step back, take a look and see uh, the size of this in proportion to the bicep, you kind of want it to be about the same width as the bicep, about the same size as the bicep too. And I'm just going to draw it like this for now. So the, the thumb goes in like this. And then the finger comes out like this. Okay, and just behind that is the forearm. So I'm going to create this kind of shape behind it, behind it. So that's just the forearm shape similar to this except this, let me make it smaller. Shouldn't be that big. You don't see much of it because of the foreshortening that happens. So I apologize if that's a little complicated for you guys, but it's essentially just creating these steps like this. And then we'll work on that a little bit later on. Okay, let me zoom out. Let's go back to this hand right here. I'm gonna make this slightly uh, larger just to make it um, proportionate to this. So here you go, you guys. Uh, sorry, I've had to start this video over, but um, I've enlarged this, like I mentioned. I made it slightly proportional to this arm so that they're both around the same size. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the hand on this side, and you guys might see that I've kind of done it faintly, but I sort of made a mistake, so let's start over. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line going like this, but what we're going to do is draw a curve here, for the thumb. 
So it kind of just makes a talon for now. And this sort of creates a, uh, it goes straight across and it kind of goes down. Okay, and then I just take this and extend it all the way to that point. So there's the forearm right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into fingers. So there's one finger right there. I just basically just curve it and that's the middle finger or that's the pointer finger or the index. Here's the middle finger, kind of just does the same thing. Here's the ring finger and then here's the pointer finger kind of jutting out like this. And we're gonna leave it like that. It looks a little funny right now, you guys, to be honest. And there are other ways of showing you how to draw hands, but I'm trying to simplify it as much as I can here. So I apologize if it looks a little weird. Just screenshot or pause the video and try to get your uh, hands to kind of look like this for now. We'll fix it uh, as soon as we get the general shape for Venom. So we're going back to here, still tilted. Uh, we're going to go over here and let's start drawing the uh, the knee just below just below the chest here. So here's the chest and we're going to draw the knee kind of right here. There's the kneecap and here's the thigh. Kneecap and the thigh kind of just goes like that. Okay, and here's the other side, I guess. Here's the kneecap right here. Here's the other, like the, the thigh part on that side. And then right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this curve for the um, calf muscle. And I'm going to find a spot right here. It goes out to the center and then it goes down and it goes in like this. Okay. And then I want this to kind of just make this shape along with it with, imagine a line coming from here and just going straight down like this, and another line right here. Right here is gonna be where I want the ankle. And then from the ankle, I go down some more to about here. Now let's go back to this point. This is where I kind of want the foot to be. So it's gonna go like this, it's gonna curve. And for this one, I kind of prefer it with uh, Eddie Brock with like these weird talon feet. So I'm going to draw two points like that kind of gives him that alien look if he's got like two toes. So there you go. Little bump over here and then curves, curves the opposite way and goes this way. Okay, this goes in like this. And then right here from this point, I draw a line like this. And here's the kind of like the, the sole of the foot. I'm just starting to shape. There you go, that goes in, and then from here it goes out to there. And then same thing here, here's the sole of the foot. There you go, and then some lines right there. So there's one foot right there. Just fixing it up a little bit. I'm gonna draw this line right there, give it a little, give the kneecap a little bit more shape. So there's one foot. And we're going to put the crotch, Eddie, Eddie Brock's crotch is going to kind of fall right around here. So take a look at the picture or the, the, the torso in general and just find where his crotch line should be. And it should be right around here. Okay, now let's go from here. Let's draw his other leg and his other leg is pretty thick. Okay, this goes down and up like this. And over here from this point, it actually goes out and down. So it's really like short shortened and fat. So it goes like this and like this. So you should come up with this kind of shape right here. Okay, let's go back over here and we're gonna draw a line kind of parallel to this and then sort of makes its way down. And this is where we're going to have the knee right here. This is the kneecap. And here's the other side of that kneecap and here's the top of the kneecap. Okay, from here, we draw a line going across, a small one like this. And then this is where we're going to draw a circle for the calf muscle. It goes like that. And this just goes like this with the other side of the calf kind of showing up on this side. Here is a tiny little line. And then just the back of the foot starting right there and then going down like this. From this point, you continue the foot going down this way, and then it gets wider and gets narrower. And then you come across these two similar 
type toes on this side. Now, if you guys want the traditional, you know, McFarlane style toes and feet, feel free to just close this like it's just a regular foot. But I've seen and prefer the more alien-like versions of Venom with longer tongue and more alien-like features like sharp, sharp fingernails, sharp talons, and things like that. Okay, right here, let's draw some crotch lines. So we're just gonna go like that. From here, now this goes this way, and then up, just drawing some muscles. Okay, right here, goes like this, like that, and back in like that. So it kind of makes this curve right here. And there you go, so that's the general shape for Venom. That's what he looks like. Um, kind of off to the side, kind of tilted a little bit. Now in hindsight, I didn't mean for it to be so tilted, so um, if you guys were to do this picture again, it'd be better if your Venom looked like this, or you could even have it like this too. But we'll do it like this for now. I think this looks fine. Let's go like this and start zooming in and start working on the details on Venom, starting of course with the iconic face and eyes. So here, let's start shaping uh, the eyes. And we're going to draw the initial look for the eyes first. And so what we're going to do is we're going to find two points right here. It curves down to the side of the head like this, like a letter J. This one backwards, and this one just goes like that. Okay, I'm going to draw those rather faintly. And then here, it just goes straight across and then goes up. Now, it all depends on how you want your Venom eyes to look. You can have the like old school classic Venom look, which is this thing right here. But if you want like the crazy Venom eyes, definitely start making these like wiggly lines like this. Unpredictable wiggly lines. And this is the Venom that I prefer. Going all the way to the top of the head. Okay, and same thing with the teeth. If you guys want like the crazy Venom teeth, feel free to Add crazy venom teeth that's just like everywhere. For me, I'm just going to create these diamond shaped sharp teeth like this. And I've pretty much got the bottom teeth done, but I'm just going to reinforce and draw them in a little bit more. But what I want for added effect is we're going to draw the tongue. Tongue starts right here, kind of the center. And I want it to curve. Actually, let me erase this part of the body so that we can get a better look at the tongue. Okay. So I want this, this side of the tongue to kind of go this way and then curve down like this and then down like this. Okay. I'm going to um, change up the width of the tongue. So here is a thick part. Here is a narrow part, it gets wider. And then this just goes into the mouth like that. Here's a narrow part of the tongue and I want this to sort of snake towards the shoulder. So I want it to go this way and up this way and then sort of makes this snake look like that. Okay, and here we're slowly starting to make it go thinner as you go. So you get to that point. Now you can add the, the slobber and spit if you want to. I'm not going to just because I don't want it to distract too much from the tongue. I think the tongue effect is enough for me to be honest. Um, but there you go. Let's draw the kind of like that line that goes in the middle of the tongue. It goes this way and then down here like this. And then here I'm going to color that in. There you go. There's the venom tongue right there. And let's draw those lines back. Now this is where it gets kind of confusing because what we need to do is we need to start drawing the um, the spider logo, spider venom, spider emblem. That is on venom. And we're going to start off by drawing a rounded square or rectangle right here. And then two lines going out like that. And then they close in like this. Okay. And then at the bottom, at the bottom here, Kind of goes up again and then they meet so it creates this kind of a like sharp butt i guess you could call it like that i'm going to erase the chest line right there and i'm kind of going to faintly erase these chest lines just so i don't get too confused 
but you don't want to erase them all the way. You want to make sure that you have those in mind still. Okay, at the top, we're going to draw two antenna. They come out this way and this way. And then they make a sharp point going in like this. Okay. And then now we got to draw the legs and the legs go across here and here. And then from here, you want it to kind of go all the way to this point and this point of the chest. Like that. And like this. You kind of want it to curve up like it has a claw at the end as well. So it makes this curve right here and right here. Okay, make sure that it's sort of symmetrical with each other. And then this now comes out like this. And then it goes sort of towards the armpit. So you bring it down to the armpit area until you reach the side. So bring this down to the armpit area until you reach the side. Okay, so that's the top. Now let's go to the bottom. So we'll go to this point here and here. We're going to bring it down to this point and this point. And then this kind of goes back up, kind of right where the chest goes. Mine goes underneath the chest here. And then it goes back out down like this to the side. This line just goes like this. Okay, remember, this goes back up like this. And then goes down to the side. So here you have pretty much just the, the space for Venom's legs. And then now what you need to do is you need to find the center point between this and this point. Here's the center right there. This point and this point, the center should be right around here. And then from here and here, the center is right here. And you just want to connect those lines, those dots with each other. Okay, we'll do the same thing. So this point and this point, find the center. Oops. And this point and then this point, find the center of that. From here at the top and here, you find the center and then find the center on the side here. Once you do that, you can connect those dots. And there you go. You have the center. And now what you need to do is you do the same thing here. Here's the center right here. And then the center is up here. And this kind of goes down to the side like that. Okay, here and here and here and here. So connect those here, 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 and down here. You'll get the hang of it after a while. There you go. So there's the venom chest right there. Now I'm going to, we're pretty much done, you guys. We just have to work on the hands a little bit here. Um, so there's venom. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this slightly bigger just so that it's in proportion with this one right here. But I'm just going to do this. Not a big deal. There you go. Uh, before we get to the hands, let's do the hands last. Let's add some extra muscles to Venom. So I'll add this line right here. I'll kind of re-add the chest back. But as you guys notice, it's kind of difficult to draw the chest and figure out where the chest goes because now you've got the white lines. Um, kind of disrupting it. Okay, here it goes. There you go. And then uh, kind of the abs going down the center here, up to this point, goes up like this. Some sort of lines right here for the abs. I'm kind of just um, doing these on the spot. I'm, there's no, you know, I just draw the abs where I see abs should go that kind of thing. So take a look at yours and just see what needs to be filled in. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw a little curve. So I'm sort of separating the different um, shoulder, shoulder muscles. Okay, right here, I'm going to draw a line this way and then down this way just for the for the neck and like the big huge traps that he's got. Okay, right here, another line going this way. And here kind of goes like that. Here another line goes this way. I'm gonna add this line here and this line here. A lot of this is just me trying to figure out where there should be lines. There you go. And now I think we're finished. Let's just start working on um, the hands and then we should be good. 
Okay, let's start over here with the thumb. I'm going to square off these corners so that they look like knuckles, like this. Here's the thumb right here, and then here's that curve. And over here, goes this way, and then this way. Okay, we're going to start separating the different fingers now. So that's that, that's that, like this line, and it goes in like this. And then here's the pinky. here, just a line from here to there, a line going kind of across beneath the fingers, and a line going like this, and that's good. Here's the forearm in the back. On this side now, here's the talon or claw. This kind of goes in like that. Now here's the other finger. Let me fix that. Looks like that. And then here, this kind of curves in this way. So I'm just make a finger out of that. And the same thing here. And same thing over here. So here's, here's that hand. Once you have that, you guys, you should have Venom in all his glory, minus all the symbiote stuff. Um, I don't want to add any of those right now. I'm just going to draw the basic Venom shape. So here you go, you guys. This is Venom from the comics, the classic version, or the classic look, uh, the more alien of the classic look. So. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and there it is. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end of this tutorial video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If you guys are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So please head on over to Instagram and tag me with your pictures so that I can see them or head on over to Google Plus and post your artwork there for everybody to enjoy. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a link to those in the description below. And if you feel like being extra generous, I have links below for different ways that you can support this channel. First is my Patreon at patreon.com slash draw it to. Check it out to find out more about the rewards you get for becoming my patron. Next, I have official draw it to merchandise that you can purchase, such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And finally, you can purchase some of my art prints in my online store at draw draw2.storeenvy.com. Your contributions go a long way in making sure that content creators like myself are supported so that we can continue making good stuff like this for you guys free of charge. If you guys did like this tutorial, it would help me a great deal. Also, if you liked this video, commented below or shared this with your friends in social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are on this channel. Again, you guys, all of these links are down in the description below. Finally, thank you once again for watching and as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial video.